Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first look of the new Dacia Duster. This is the facelift but with the new logo and uh, it's kind of a new design. Dacia is trying to step up uh, from the old blue shield logo. Now we have an interesting spec here with this green tone color. Uh, it's a facelift with another changes uh, are coming with the new logo. So on the front you can see the new uh, DNC Dacia. Interesting, they went with the white, they wanted to stand out. They added this white stripes in the grill. And, but the Dutch is adding a little bit uh, to their brand, increasing its value. It's, it's still a budget brand, but small details like this. You have 360 parking, camera on the front, rear, and side mirrors. Now, moving from the grill and the new logo in white, they decided to replace the chrome inside, so they added this white details. You can also see the daytime running lights. They're a little bit flashing on the camera, but not in person. Now this is a non-metallic color. You can see also gray and black combo on painted plastic for off-roading. It's good so it doesn't scratch your clear coat. And we have fog lights at the bottom. These are halogen lights. Now this one's LED and this one's halogen. As you can see the bulb inside and here it's just a projector. Now stepping away from the car just to get the car in perspective a little bit, it looks nice. Now checking here the tires, uh, these are 17 inch alloys, uh, 215-60R17, beautiful diamond cut, silver on black with the new Dacia logo. Now if you back up you can see the whole car in the profile, we have nice plastic skirt again for off-roading practical and we have side mirrors in this um, gray metallic finish but this is plastic that's not painted you can also see light and rain center in the top plastic on the front and rear roof racks metal in the middle duster signature with a nice antenna plastic and uh, for the mirrors uh, we have the blind spot warning there, and we have the camera, as mentioned, for a 360. Now, still a classical uh, handles, physical cylinder on the driver, and tinted windows on the rear. I think this should be like standard. And we have drum brakes on the rear. Now you can see the car from this angle. You can see the facelift. LED taillights, but then again, bulbs inside for the turn signals. Fog lights at the bottom. Excuse me. Let's see. Uh, opening the cargo space. We're gonna back up a little bit. So you can see the whole car in the frame. Let's see. So you can see the whole car. Now, really practical. Uh, open stall. So I'm a two meter tall person or 6.6 .6 in feet. This can open fairly tall. So you won't hit your head if you're an average person. You can pull here to close, it's plain. And over here you have a hard top. Practical also, you can put like an umbrella or something else. You can of course remove the straps here and then remove the top shelf if you want to. Now there is a 12 wall outlet on the right side here on the top. And on the left you can see the seat belt. It's also not magnetic, as I thought, but there's a little hole you can put in the seat belt. Now, looking at the cargo space, it's practical. Now, on the right side, it's pretty plain. You have a grocery hook there. And a weird spot for the isofix tether points there. And on the left side, we have one more a light and a grocery hook. Now, uh, there is some side room on the left and you get this duster carpet so you can see that's some kind of rough textile uh, but there is a little compartment here but you can see this is the LPG so this is the uh, liquid gas container steel container you can see the back and camera and well it appears to be LED for the license plates and now, Dodger has decided to put leathers on the back, so uh, no more uh, badge on the rear. This is some sort of trend in the car industry. And also interesting 
they decided to put those in white. But this signature of the brand, not sure if this is the finish, uh, it's gonna come into production, but it's like a rough uh, texture, but it's a sticker. Now we have the exhaust on the left side there. Interesting, they didn't paint the parking sensors and they've put them on top instead of being inside the bumper. Uh, this is locked, so let's get on the other side. So, not so great closing sound, but we all know this is a budget brand. And one seal on the side, there's another seal on the top, so that's why they don't use the seals over there. And the doors are plastic, of course, but uh, quite minimum, Spartan design. It's pretty hard plastic here. Have panel windows, speaker at the bottom, and a little bit small uh, pocket here. Not really uh, practical if you want to put a water bottle there. Now you can see the seats. Of course, basic cloth seats. Some contrasting stitching, so they're not too boring in the black. And you can see the eyes to fix there. Now you can put the seat buckle inside here. So if you want to knock down the seat. Uh, you have to pull here and you can see how that looks in the back space now if you take out this you can tuck in the seat belt like that let's get inside you see okay feet room knee room I was sitting on the front so if there's an average person on the front there'll be more room the pocket is there textile seats and you can see the armrest here no AC controls so only two USB A's but that's nice and they're both for fast charging transmission tunnel isn't that big but you can fit a third person it's nice and comfy here and the seats are cloth but in general comfortable you can adjust those headrests there or you can lower them down you can see big tall windows nice and practical good overview on the back have uh, handles that are fixed on all actually excuse me three sides not the driver end for whatever reason and you can see the light switch here warm lights here and here let's hear the closing sound so not the greatest closing sound, but you know, considering um, the car, it's okay considering the price. And uh, look at the front, you can already see the new steering wheel and they also decided to add uh, leathers there. Now, uh, just to finish on the rear uh, headspace, if I straighten up, it's actually good. I'm touching with my hair, but there's a good headspace even for a tall person, again, six. 0.6 in feet or two meters tall. Let's get on the front. Now, seat belt is also very basic, uh, last century, uh, but not adjustable. Not to forget, you can push down here, and then you lock for the kids so they cannot open. Now, let's check the front. A bit better closing, more solid closing sound on the front doors. Now they're also using that seal on the top instead of on the doors. There's nothing on the side of here of the doors. Uh, your tire pressure is here, causing me that. Now uh, looking at the doors, hard plastic of course, very robust, but they decided to add some padding here. So that's nice and soft. Now I just realized the doors are opening super wide, so that's also practical, but sometimes a disadvantage when you're in a parking lot and you hit another car. Um, so be careful there. Uh, over here, you can lock for the rear. So this is the stuff they're adding a little bit more options in the standard packages. So they're increasing the value of the brand. Have all power windows and they appear to be automatic. You have the automatic folding and electronic uh, side mirrors there. This is nice and robust. It is uh, hard plastic, but it's okay. And you can see big speaker. Maybe you can fit a water bottle here in the front pocket. A little bit bigger 
Now, uh, you can see also the plastic protection at the bottom, which is good. Now, chipstones won't damage your clear coat. You can see duster carpets. You can uh, pull here to open the fuel cap, which is on the other side of the car, so I won't go there again. And you can see the uh, light height there. Uh, I think this is a fuse box. Now, over here, uh, you can pull here to slide back and forward and push for up and down and there's that guy to push to tilt the seat there's no lumbar support uh, again very basic cloth seats but you get a nice uh, duster signature in there and then since uh, Dacia and Renault are or Renault are uh, in collaboration uh, this is the same seat so you have this like bowl like headrest uh, let's jump inside um, uh, I think these are new buttons for LPG and uh, uh, side, uh, excuse me, blind spot warning probably, I think, yeah. Uh, steering column is manually adjustable. Get them into that. Let's hear the closing sound. So the front doors are more heavier and they have a better closing sound, definitely. Now, let me adjust the seat a bit. Actually, I need to like tilt a little bit to the back so there would be less knee room in that case uh, zooming out so this is the uh, sort of new uh, look new point of view new POV yeah um, again pretty much the same but uh, they added the new Dacia here and again it doesn't look too bad I think it looked definitely better one without the blue badge uh, I'm not sure of the choice of white uh, leathers maybe chrome would be more suitable but it is what it is uh, zooming back in now you can see that in more detail and over here you have um, cruise control settings voice commands and for the trip computer uh, still needles uh, physical uh, gauges so some people prefer that and you can see the vents so this is all hard plastic there's a speaker uh, over there and a little air vent and uh, Dodge still didn't decide to put the screen on the top so your eyes are closer to the road uh, they're still using the old system now uh, this is for the uh, you know volume mute uh, modes and then source and then on the other side uh, you have the uh, light controls and the uh, wiper controls front and rear excuse me for the bump and there's a start stop here now if you would have a physical key it would go here and we don't have a key now uh, infotainment is nice and big Let's see if we can turn it on so the colors are matching the interior and you have the duster signature there so just basic vehicle settings um, are here uh, this is in French of course um, agree and then here's the navigation now it really isn't that fast uh, you know but it seems decent and you go back here you can connect your smartphone a phone via Bluetooth media radio options um, yeah, we are in France, in Paris, so it's probably at all a lot of small talk. Um, we won't hear the uh, settings here, but you can see here display device and you can have day and night or automatic devices, system and so on. Um, not going to be too detailed in this one. It's another shortcut there. And you can turn off the screen there. At the bottom, you can have the uh, auto start stop off, eco, which is pretty useless. Uh, kind of kills your power. As you can see on the side mirrors, you can lock or unlock the car from the inside. And uh, parking sensors on and off that no one ever uses. And a little button for the camera, it's not working because we don't have the key. Uh, AC vents from uh, Renault Clio, Renault Clio, whatever you call it, front and rear defrost, AC on and closed air circulation. Bottom we have two USB A's, one's for fast charging, other one's for media, and a 180 uh, watts, I think, 12 volt socket. 
and over here we have still like the rubber mat so you can put something here there's a little cup holder uh, six speed manual uh, long gears it's a bit clunky yeah uh, reverse is sort of like a first gear I think yeah oh actually, excuse me no 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 I thought it was this but yeah up you pull the little lever here and then first gear so that's for the reverse my mistake and uh, no piano black that's a nice uh, refreshing thing to say uh, there is another either small cup holder and two uh, normal ones this is just plastic key same as the still a uh, manual handbrake now over here you can see this is soft extends it's contra stitching and it's a really small space here there's a like a little texture there but it's not rubberized it's plastic key altogether not too shabby uh, this just boom drops but it's quite spacious yeah you can see that and there's a little rubber carpet here, so you can put something there. Uh, ain't that bad. Uh, this is actually quite good SUV for the buck. Um, jokes aside, with a cheap entry uh, brand. It is a budget brand, but uh, you know, let's be honest, uh, things are more expensive these days. So this is not a bad deal at all. Uh, good overview on the rear mirror. Uh, airbag information, uh, lights on and off they're off not to kill a 12 battery you saw they were warm from the rear and there's a little uh, thingy there can't say if it's a mic or something there is like mic here probably so I'm not sure if this is like some sort of sensor or whatever uh, type in the comments if you know what that is uh, there is a little mirror here and a documents holder now I'm supposed to tell you what this is but <laughs> I really don't know I uh, I haven't read that just that much. Uh, over here, this does not extend, so this might be shining in your face when you're driving. Uh, this is quite thin, but it's okay. And really basic cloth uh, that car industry used 10 years ago, but it's cheap, so. Uh, yeah, there you go. And on the front, of course, uh, plenty of headroom. Now, let's uh, jump outside and show you what's on the bonnet. Uh, you pull here once. So, you can see here, a little bit to the right, do that, and then if I back up, you can see the whole car. So, voila, yeah, as the song says, uh, even the duster has gas struts to keep the bonnet open, unlike the Volkswagen Golf that doesn't. Uh, and here's the petrol engine, it's also, as you saw, using the uh, LPG. Uh, liquid gas now uh, washer fluid is marked yellow there and press pretty much lead to the mechanics and do not wash your engine cover as labeled there gonna drop it now I really do like the new batch tell me what do you think in the comments section below now uh, let's check the spec while other people are browsing the car and over here you can see we go here to the English okay all new Dacia Duster Journey plus Echo G100 uh, variable four or two wheel drive it's not really a four wheel drive but uh, it's some sort of aided with electronic um, power uh, main equipment now you can see here in the gallery uh, you saw the car uh, so you can spec uh, different wheels you can see 16 to 17 inch so these are the best looking definitely and you can see the colors so not a lot, not a lot of colors but you know something for everyone's taste So this is called Kaki, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this, but uh, yeah. And come back here, dimensions, 
so you can see that maybe not I mean I don't know if the ISO is uh, good or not uh, there's a lot of lights definitely around the car show so that was it uh, that was the new duster tell me in the comments how you like the new changes and if you want to see more uh, definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to see more from Patterns Auto Show I'm gonna review the new Logan as well and uh, see you in the next one thanks for watching bye